Welcome to this video. In this video, we will continue to model unidirectional composite unit cell by Python scripting. In our previous video, we construct the geometry and apply the material to the unit cell. Now we continue to apply load and mesh to this problem. We go to the load module and apply symmetry boundary condition to three faces of the unit cell. For each face we choose a name, X symmetry on this face and apply X symmetry to it. Also for Y and Z we repeat it. By this type of boundary condition, the pure tension will be applied to the model. Now we can go to the abacus.rpy file and find the new commands after exec file which means running the script in the abacus we can find our new lines we copy them to our script file We create a new part with the name load and copy the commands. These lines related to picking the faces, faces of the composite part. This line is related to picking a face for X direction and applying X symmetry to it. We can delete session lines and another time these two lines are repeated and we can Delete them. Another time picking a face and applying boundary condition to it. We can delete these lines too. And to repeated line again. A line for picking two faces and applying Z symmetry to these faces. As previously we discussed, we can replace this line for picking face by find that command. We have these lines in our code and copy them. These lines are for picking a cell, but we can change it to picking a face. We copy them here and change them based on faces. This, we don't need this line, can delete it and then we have faces and F1 here, find that and a point on the face. We need a point on the face that we want to apply the X symmetry to it. We need a coordinate in this face. The x is 0 and at the middle of the face we have h divided by 2. Then we change names and use the names of this command in our commands. And we can delete the commands and keep our new commands for picking a face to apply x symmetry. This lines create a set and apply X symmetry to the picked face. Now we can copy these three lines for another face. We just should change the coordinate of the point on the face. 
the center of the face is a point with uh, x w divided by 2 and y 0 then we continue to our script without any change and the second face is picked for the third boundary condition we have two faces and it is better to use get by bounding box command we have it in our code copy it and use it we just should define a box which includes these two faces the box should be large enough in x and y direction and about z direction it should have a small domain around the zero which means a little minus in z direction and a little positive in z direction now we define x symmetry y symmetry and z symmetry and boundary condition is complete we can run our code another time and check that it's working correct in the next step we apply tension to these two faces in z direction the name of boundary condition is move and we can apply displacement to these two faces we have defined these two faces as a set by the name move pick it and apply an arbitrary value for tension in this direction now we can go to the abacus.rpy file and copy new lines and use it in our python code this line are not needed and this is also repeated we have this set and use it to apply the move boundary condition we also could use parameter to define displacement in z direction and define the displacement in the beginning of our code based on desired strain and we can have a strain as an input in the beginning of our code for example a strain is 1% in this case now we check our code another time and can see that everything is okay and we have boundary conditions we go to the mesh module to mesh this part at first we define the type of mesh we choose hex dominated and then continue to meshing the part assign element type to the mesh the mesh is 3d stress and the solver is the standard we use linear mesh and then we can seed the parts this amount can also be arbitrary and change it in our code we mesh the part now we can go to the script and continue to complete the meshing procedure we copy new lines of abacus.rpy file and use them in our script 
we define the new part with the name of mesh for our code and copy the lines these lines pick two cells of the part we should pick all the cells and then apply mesh to them for picking all the cells of the part we can use get by bounding box command we have it copy it and use it the limit of this command should be changed to include all the cells of the part and we use big limit for this command and then it picks two, two cells of the part and another time we have this line which needs to pick all the cells another time we copy this line and use it this commands assign element type to these two cells and this line is repeated we can also use a parameter to define mesh size for example length of the unit cell divided by 10 or another parameters we can use for the mesh we check our code again this is our unit cell and load is complete and this is the mesh the mesh is coarse and we can refine it again in our code and we can define a job we create a job and we should define a work directory for our results now we can go to the abacus.rpy file and copy new lines related to creating a job and defining the work directory now our code is complete these lines these two lines define the work directory and we can also refine the mesh size for example de divided by 20 means dividing the mesh size by 2 and run the code again now the code is complete and the only thing that we should do is to change the parameters and run it again and see the results we can go to the visualization and see the result which is a stress distribution and we also have the reaction forces thank you guys i hope this video have helped you out please let us know your comments if this video was helpful please let us know by a like or by a subscribe